We've been hearing a lot of talk recently on bringing back or creating new manufacturing jobs. And while the University of Delaware's new Manufacturing USA Institute won't teach students how to build cars, it is part of the school's renewed focus on research. For this week's first look, we visit the Newark campus to learn more about that research effort. In his 2014 State of the Union, President Obama called for an expansion of efforts to improve high-tech manufacturing. We also have the chance right now to beat other countries in the race for the next wave of high-tech manufacturing jobs. And my administration's launched two hubs for high-tech manufacturing in Raleigh, North Carolina and Youngstown, Ohio, where we've connected businesses to research universities that can help America lead the world in advanced technologies. Those manufacturing hubs have now expanded to 11. The latest is at the University of Delaware in Newark. UD is now the headquarters for the National Institute for Innovation in Manufacturing Biopharmaceuticals, better known as NIMBLE, where researchers are working on improving techniques for manufacturing biopharmaceuticals. One could argue all of the easy manufacturing challenges have been solved, and so what's left to really go to the next level uh, are some of the more challenging manufacturing issues that a number of companies want to try to address and solve. Solving those problems could lead to treatments for Alzheimer's disease and some cardiovascular disease. Finding those solutions is a part of the University of Delaware's increasing focus on research. It requires a commitment by the institution to try to invest in the right way, to grow in the right way, and we have some uh, very inspired and uh, new leadership at the university that is really trying to push the boundaries to promote not only uh, the university's interest in terms of research and expanding in that direction, but also tr our impact on the nation. As part of the research push, Charlie Reardon's vice provost position was promoted to a vice president post, reporting directly to UD's new president, Dennis Hassanis. I think that reflects a natural evolution of the institution and the increasing importance that the president, the board of trustees, and the entire university places on the role of research, but also scholarship and innovation. Increasingly, more and more students across all disciplines are expected to have a research experience, particularly at the undergraduate level. That research experience better prepares students for more than just their first job out of college. If all we do is prepare them for their first job out of college, we haven't been successful. And so we're really focused on that longer term journey. And part of that longer term journey is to ensure that those students are prepared in ways that they can help drive the economy by creating new industries and creating new companies. One of those new companies created out of UD research is Simucare, founded by Professor Amy Copperwaite. The company's products allow nursing students to learn how to interact with live patients who've had a tracheostomy. This product is called Simutrach, and essentially it was a product that was made out of the University of Delaware. Replacing the old training mannequins, this device uses sensors that send signals to the trained patient who responds to the procedure as necessary. Sorry, one minute, one minute, okay, one more minute. Okay, I've got it. Okay, now they get to see real-time reactions, real-time behaviors, and then get feedback at the end of the simulation. After collaborating with other UD departments, including theater and mechanical design, Simucare was launched as a company in 2015. The amount of, of support that you need to do research and development on a product financially would not be feasible or possible for any of the faculty members here. The support of not just not just the financial support, but the, the support to encourage faculty to do these research projects. It just propels us forward. Whether it's developing new biopharmaceuticals or better training methods for nurses, UD's new research push is well on its way. Over the past several years, um, we've expended more than $140 million in research-sponsored dollars, and we fully expect and know that that trajectory is, is headed upward in a very steep way. Right now, there are more than 1,000 students taking part in undergraduate research each year, and more than 3,800 graduate students are involved in research projects. And while we talked a lot about science and lab-type work, there's all sorts of disciplines doing research at UD, including areas like education, communication, and a whole lot more. So, Mark, so beyond helping these students prepare for their careers, what's the benefit of all this research? Right. Well, a lot of the people we talked to at UD were very quick to point out how important it is for 
all these not just to be an academic practice or something that just stays within the walls of the university. Obviously, with the Manufacturing USA funding in the area of biopharmaceuticals, uh, that has long-term potential to, to improve healthcare opportunities across the nation. But there's also a workforce development piece to all this. You have thousands of students learning very marketable skills in these emerging employment sectors, uh, and so that could draw new employers in those fields to either move to Delaware or start up here. Well, thanks, Mark. Uh, you can learn more about UD research at newsworks.org slash Delaware.